these knife battles. And it's, it's really hard. Wow. I'm really in the mood for it now. God damn it. Oh shit. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot those floor panels come out. Ooh, that scared me. Then you I forgot I took out the camera then. Yeah. Okay. Now this bit's annoying because I you have to find the node. You know why bother you no. know where the where the bomb is, right? Yeah, I know where it is, but still, there's enemies. There we go. Don't forget the one in the middle. Nothing here. Oh, still looks like you. Now if I get this right, <laughs> hopefully, right, go. Yes. <laughs> bomb is right here. Okay, coolant. And that should be the last one. I have the last C4 frozen. There's nothing showing up on the sensor now. Good work, Raiden. You're way ahead of me, kid. I Good work, Raiden. Go. How's your bomb, Peter? That's right. It's a bomb, all right. Sealed C4 and in huge quantities. You think there's another one in shell one? For sure. Somewhere at the bottom of strut A. Why are you so when so you uh, entered your information bottom for your dog tag from the beginning, what did you put as your birthday? Be well to yeah. Uh, my natural birthday. No. Because, um, immediately. apparently in the game it's like April 30th or something. One and if you put your birth date it'll be a very on, uh, different story. Oh no, not, not that. The if you put the birth date as the day you're playing it, According to your PlayStation's clock, you'll get a little happy right. birthday message. What we really? Well, I have a like that can an extra cutscene? Or? No, no, not an extra cutscene. A little icon that's happy birthday, and I think uh, it'll be like an extra codec call or something. Stuff with you? Of course. Wow. Okay. While I was in the pantry. Does it work? Man, I've got to try all this stuff out. L little touches that uh, Kojima Productions puts into all their games. Yeah. Sound? Full of surprises. The shorter the I mean, this game came out in, what, 2002? Yeah, I think so. There's yeah, another and it's now 2000, it. well, just coming you up to the end of 2010. And it's I still don't know yours, everything. Ryden. I'm going to study it some more and see if the freezing so. process will work. Don't touch the other one until I say so. You know what okay. I mean? Yeah. I'll stand by until you radio in. I mean, I, I, I've had to go well out of my way to figure out all the, the things in the game and go on forums and all kinds of things. But Exactly, yeah. There's a guard around here somewhere. Ah, there he is. I mean, even There's I one. haven't done all the ghost images in, in, in any of the games. I think I've done most of them in MGS4, but I'm not entirely sure about that either. Shit. Go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I like dumping them in the water as well. It's quite funny. Alright. Radio is online. No, you. What's it called? Radar is online. <laughs> Solid on radar. <laughs> Shame you can't do riding. No, I mean I have to uh, increase attention on my shorts a bit for that one. I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I know. Rose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. No, I can't do uh, riding at all. It just sounds really girly Are you and high pitch. You have to watch Quentin Flynn's uh, Adventures in Anime series. It's it's hilarious because his voice for the riding character in this game is pretty much his natural voice. So yep, I know that. Peter, hearing hearing I him uh, be good. speak Here dirty comments and acting a. acting so How's cavalier with uh, flirting I'm with people and everything is is hilarious. Mm. But like in Metal Gear Solid 4, when uh, he does ride, but there are a few he had to like change his voice a little to be more badass. Yeah, I think to be, to be more heterosexual. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Who'd you prefer, uh, riding in MGS2 or MGS4? Uh, MGS2. It's more. He has more natural. You know. Uh, mm, yeah, I suppose maybe. In his, in his voice. About to freeze it. Then. Wait, no, I mean like generally. I I enjoyed uh, riding. Damn. 
Bet Sons of Liberty it. more What's than going on? Uh, Guns the of the Patriots. Just woke up. It's counting down. I think it's a, uh, it's a more balanced character. The big ones were rigged to be I suppose, yeah, because uh, Raiden seems a bit in, in MGS4. Right. You the don't really see him. Right. And he's more two. injured Hurry. and stuff like that. What's the remaining time? <laughs> you only see him when he's like half dead on the 400 seconds. Uh, bed thing in the Nomad. I mean, I, 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 and I, I could have done Get without the, the, uh, the battle now. scene between him and Vamp with the semen blood flying everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we got to get to the bottom of Strut A and defuse this bomb. It's time to get our Bookham shoes on. I mean, I, I really didn't need to uh, see a CGI Phil Lamar as a vampire licking the semen blood off of his knife. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> nasty. Remember when I saw that? <laughs> He's like, uh, white blood. I was like, what the hell is that? What? Why? Why? Why would you do that? This is nasty. <laughs> it's just like when, uh, you know, when uh, Raiden and uh, Vamp are fighting and Snake is sniping them in the plane. Yeah. And uh, Vamp like stabs Raiden and licks the blood off his knife. <laughs> Snake's like, what? He's just like looking. He's like looking down the site, and then he suddenly just, like looks at him. He's like, what the hell? <laughs> do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, wow. It made me laugh. But yeah, I'm glad Rat Vamp is dead. He's a faggot. <laughs> I mean, it's cool that he came back, but seriously, he died like freaking twice in Sons of Liberty. No, wait, three times. Yeah. <laughs> he got, fr well, yeah. I mean, he got, I mean, let's face it, he got shot in the head twice. And drowned. So, no, drowned twice. <laughs> so. Did you get the sensor? I wasn't paying attention. I did. Okay. I did. <laughs> yeah, I'm not glitching the game. <laughs> Hell no. Just to make sure. Yep. Looks kind of like a milk carton. I don't know. I think. Ugh, did you see that? <laughs> Bird poop just missed me. You yeah, don't fall, you can slip on that. <laughs> Yep, throw it. I'm gonna take out this guard because I know he's gonna give me hell. I'm gonna do it just for the hell of it. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I get to the point here, it would go down like it is now. And you see the view it is now? Raiden would disappear down the bottom and it would just be the same. Huh. Uh. You know. It's the same screen. It'll be still right. moving. It's not frozen. Listen. It's just you can't do anything. Listen carefully. Huh. What is it? It's like what the hell? I feel for it. it doesn't Sell trigger any cutscenes or anything like that. that. Man has well, I guess they didn't expect the uh, the trigger. player to disregard right. that twenty-minute coded right. call where it says, "Ride and get the damn sensor." Exactly. Neither was that multi-bomb booby trap. Looks like he's far surpassed me as far as explosives technique goes. As for the rest, Pete, get the hell out of there. This guy's crazy, I'd still left. run. It's too late. 30 seconds. No. Let's still, you can probably make it. As well, fast as you can. Pete, make it or die trying. Keep your distance. Use the spray from as far away as possible. Me? You can do it. I know that. I'm not so sure. But I am. Do it. I know Those you EOG guys are nuts. I would never, you know, sit in front of a bomb trying to dismantle it. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Rumble time. Deep sea dunk. Alright. We're back here again. And it's all changed. People have been down here and changed it all around. Oh, crap. Music's awesome. Yeah, I use this uh, when I play MGO a lot. A countdown to this to uh, disaster. It's called the MP3. Yeah, that's right. I do that as well. That even though I just play with nothing. That and the dead cell battle I like a lot. Yeah. Now what you can do is you can stand here and take out take care of the bomb. But I'm not going to. I'm going to take it out the easier way. Well, my way. I've always done it. Yeah, I've always done it uh, this way too. Yeah. Just like flip over here. Climb up. Alrighty. Slowly go up. Alright. Where is it? There it is. 
Now, why would there be a uh, deep sea submersible? Damn it. And next to you, you have two deep sea suits. Mm. Now, why would anyone? Why are you reaching? Bottom of the of the floor, of the uh, God damn it. the bay. Damn it! It's not reaching. There we go. Maybe. Got it. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel, I've neutralized the bomb. At first, when I played this, I thought it was in the water. It was a great loss for. I couldn't. I couldn't find it for the life of me. I, I didn't know it was underneath the sub. Any damage? So I kept yeah. to go inside the air vents and, and everything. Contaminated really? I was like, wait. I, I was like swimming underwater like all the time, and I was like, wait. Uh, if a bomb was put under here, how would it explode? It wouldn't do anything, so I thought it's not in there. The chemicals it, it wouldn't be. So no then I like uh, swam to the surface, and of course it goes to the first person camera, right? The was high. Yeah. I saw it. But the I was like, oh, there it is. <laughs> is over for now. What's the next objective? I was like, look it up. The yeah, it's right above me. <laughs> Get back to the upper level. Roger that. Okay, now this comes the boss, which <laughs> I hated when I first played it. Because I didn't know what the hell to do. When you tried to keep shooting at her. <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay, this is an easy boss, and it had like hardly any life. But wait, oh no, you can't shoot her because she's invincible. Yeah, that's another thing I didn't like about uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 with the jump to the PS2 right. the is you automatically started out with a full life bar. What? Yeah. Where on you know Metal Gear Solid, you have to work your way up. Ahead. Yeah, I suppose that's a just to make a bad sure thing. we caught it. One of our satellites caught it clear as day. Damn. They announced they Yeah, because every time you finish a boss, right, uh, snake, on. like, what does he do? What eat a orders? ration or something? What should I do? No, he uh, massages his face objective. like he's Rescue like he's tired, and then his life bar goes up. What about the other hostages? Oh, okay, I didn't president know that. I thought you should like eat something. First priority. Priority, my butt. He doesn't do that in uh. Jack, be What's reasonable. called Twin Snakes. Now you start off the game with a full life bar, like uh, yeah. They no, think, I think they should have kept uh, a small life bar with that. that I mean, it was through. it was a cool remake Looks like for the he's turned his radio off the too. graphics end of it. I, can't complete I guess this mission by myself. And, right. Uh, that man was not included. But it wasn't a, a true reproduction. Not a it had, yeah. It was like what an empty shell. It had nothing of the of the original depth of the game. Yeah, exactly. I played Twin Snakes and. It's they like boring. I kind of just speed run it for All the hell of it. Do is well, yeah, yeah, that's basically meantime, what I did as well. And if I play Metal Gear Solid, um, you know, now I play on my PSP because right. I got the digital Go copy from the, the PlayStation Network. You and um, yeah. you know, I sit down. You know, I get a, a bunch of cokes and a sandwich or something, and I read, you know, every codec thing, and I really enjoy it because it has a lot of depth to it. That's right. Yeah. There's a lot to the franchise. It's really in depth. Oh, another thing that I know, well, um, uh, well, I say I know, but I, I'm pretty sure yeah, someone's going to fuck me up. Well, it's going to fuck me up. It's going to be like, uh, I'm going to be wrong. But uh, Metal Gear Solid Rising happens in between Metal Gear Solid 2 and Metal Gear Solid 4. Right, yeah, that's what I, I thought too. Riding, I at the start, apparently, you're riding the skull suit. Really? That's normally. Cool. normally. And, uh... Something about Manhattan. I've read it up on some weird website. I just go on random websites. Like, I was like, eh, I'll search it up. Why not? I need to know because I need to know these things. Right? <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, I, I searched it up. Apparently, you're in uh, uh, the skull suit star, and eventually you go to some weird lab. You know, oh, who's that guy in Metal Gear Solid 2? Doctor Madnar. Something like that. Yeah. So, yeah, Doctor Madnar. He, you meet him like at some point. Because you like get really injured and like near death, and uh, apparently uh, you go a bit crazy and things like that. Maybe. And uh, like like Rose says uh, in Metal Gear Solid 4, the ride and stop coming home and he'd be covered in cuts and bruises. Do you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> the Codec Core with Snake and yeah Rose. Uh, uh Doctor Madnot basically saves you. And uh, the only way to save you is become a ninja, like that. And you apparently, yeah, you go and help uh, save Sunny from the Patriots, right? Or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, so I'm probably wrong. But I bet there's something different to that, or something into it that I don't know. Look at that. Yeah, it's pretty ass hair. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, come on, seriously, in a skull suit and uh, the uh, normal riding.